Okay, well, uh, today's Monday. Uh, you know, our guys came in yesterday. We uh, reviewed the film, uh, definitely learned from our mistakes, and uh, uh, you know, put that game behind us. But uh, now we're moving on to uh, an exciting time for us. We're getting ready to play uh, not only our first conference game in Conference USA, but uh, a familiar foe, uh, our rival, a team that's done very well the past uh, few years, especially winning eight games the last two years and going to bowl games. Uh, they were six and two in conference play last year. So, uh, you know, this will be a great challenge for us to, to go on the road again. Uh, and try to pull out a win against Middle Tennessee. We're excited to, to get things underway and, and looking forward to this game on Saturday. No, no different preparation. No, we talked about as a team that, hey, we, we tried the, the best we could these first two games to pull out wins. Uh, unfortunately, we, we ended up one and one. But there's a lot of things to learn from it. And what we have to do is use these uh, past two games as a learning experience, learn from the things we did well, learn from the things we did not do well. And really, it's all about preparing to play in our conference. So this is the most important game of the year. Uh, it's an exciting time for our players to, to get started in this conference. It's going to be a challenge. Uh, you always want to start the conference off on a good note. But this is a game that's going to be tough. Uh, we're going to have to play well uh, and play well for four quarters. Well, I thought our guys played hard, and I thought our guys guys played hard to the very end, and we definitely had a chance to win the ball game. Unfortunately, uh, we didn't make enough plays in the second half to win the game. But uh, really, a lot of the things go back to what we didn't do well last year. I think uh, we ended up turning the ball over a little bit in the second half. Uh, we had four turnovers in total, if you count the drop punt, uh, which I do, uh, as, as key turnovers in the game. Uh, our defense made some plays. They gave us a chance to, to put some points on the board. In the end, I think their offense controlled the ball in the second half. They came out, spread us out a little bit, uh, made some plays in the passing game. Uh, and while we did play hard, I thought at times we were a little soft in our coverage and definitely need to, to excuse me, tighten some things up in, in that manner. But uh, in you know the third and long situation, we need to get off the field on third and long. We didn't. They definitely converted way too many third longs that if we can get off the field and get us another possession, it'll definitely help us. You know, we were able to control the ball the first half. We had 50 plays. We were still able to ro go fast. Uh, we ran the ball a lot more in the second half. It was tough to, to get the ball. I think we had six plays in the third quarter. Uh, and, uh, and when we got it back in the fourth quarter, we're, we're down. So, uh, you know, interesting game. Uh, but, uh, you know, they came out, played better than us in the second half, and, and won the ball game. Well, you know, those things are going to happen sometimes. You try to minimize them if you can, especially the turnovers. And, uh, you know, I think Brandon played well. He definitely didn't play as well as he did the week before. I think uh, started to press a little bit in the second half, uh, started to get a little antsy and not as decisive in, in, in his decision making uh, instead of just, you know, getting up in the pocket, getting a few yards, or throwing it away. But those are things uh, uh, that he'll continue to improve upon. You know, it was a key second half, uh, and he's a guy that's going to play well for us this year, and he'll learn from those things. Uh, I didn't think we got off press very well on the outside. We need to do better when guys are up in our face, uh, getting some separation and making plays contested. Uh, they definitely did a good job, which I knew they would, of taking away our quick throws and forcing us to throw the ball up the field, forcing us to protect longer. Uh, so those are things we've got to continue to work on. Defensively, the, the third and long situations getting off the field, um, you know, we weren't good at it last year. It was our nemesis, and it, and it hurt us this game. And, you know, we, we've uh, viewed a lot of uh, the things that happened as a staff. Uh, I think we have a better grasp of what we need to do. Uh, and really it just comes down to challenging the other team more and, and making them beat you deep, uh, putting pressure uh, not only on the quarterback, but putting pressure on the receivers, pressing them up a little bit and challenging them to, to throw the ball over your head. And I think uh, we'll do that. And, uh, uh, you know, we've got to give our, our players a chance to win uh, and give them opportunities to, to, uh, to make plays. And I think we'll learn from that. Considering the similarities in the struggle that you had in the second game of the last year and this year, how did your team respond differently? 
Well, it's going to be a challenge. You know, last year we, we didn't play well at all against Tennessee and, and really played very bad. This, this, uh, this year I think uh, our guys played hard and we had a chance to win the game. We just uh, fell short at the end. Uh, you know, last year after that we went down to our first conference game against South Alabama and, and, uh, and didn't finish the game either. And uh, I think Brandon uh, in that game played very well for three quarters and then I think in the fourth quarter we turned it over three times. So really it's just uh, we need to understand that uh, Especially in our conference now, we have tough competition. You're going to have to play well to win the ball game. You're going to have to play well for four quarters. I think if our guys just continue to fight, uh, uh, get better each and every day, learn how hard it is and how, how small the difference is between winning and losing, that you've got to stay focused and locked in uh, and play together and play hard for all four quarters. If we can do that and sustain that, and then we'll have a chance to win the ball game. Well, you know, a little both. I think after he threw the first interception, he didn't see the guy that uh, was standing right there. And sometimes those things happen. And uh, so we tried to talk to him a little bit after that. And then I think uh, he got a little pressure and tried to put the ball in one hand and get a little creative with it instead of just stepping up and running, which he did earlier for a key first down uh, with two hands on the ball and try to just create a little too much. And really, that's not his game. He's not uh, an expert at creating too much other than, hey, let's, let's be consistent in what we're doing, keep two hands on the ball, step up, step up, run it, or step up, step up, and, and throw it, and don't try to get too creative with that. So, you know, he'll learn from that. Uh, you know, he works hard. He, he, uh, he did a very good job of uh, distributing the ball to our guys. He still threw the ball accurately for the most part. Uh, and uh, we ask him to do a lot. Uh, when you're losing in the fourth quarter and you've and you got to find ways to do things, you may tend to do more. And then we, he came back the last drive and we said, hey, let's give you some easy completions. Let's try to work the ball down the field and, and uh, get some touchdowns. If it's not there, throw it away or, or move on. He did a very good job. So hopefully we'll build upon that and uh, realize, you know, like I said, how, how small the difference is between winning and losing. As far as us or the other team? Well, I thought uh, we ran the ball well the first half. I thought that um, you know we controlled the ball. We ran a lot of plays. We had good tempo. Um, you know, I think our, our defense played hard um, and uh, you know did a good job for the most part. Uh, you know, I'd like to be a little better in the passing game. I thought we could have defended the pass better, uh, but we definitely stopped the run, which is uh, probably even harder to do. So I think we can correct those things as far as, far as defending the pass. I think we will this week. The second half, you know, they got the ball first. They took it down. They scored. We got it. Unfortunately, we ran the first, the first play and lost quite a bit of yards and, and was three and out. They took it down again, getting ready to score again. Uh, and we, we made a great, uh, wonderful Terry made a great play, took it to the, uh, to the house for a touchdown. Uh, and really only had the ball six plays in the, in the third quarter. But, uh, you know, they did a good job of uh, spreading the field the second half, uh, controlling the ball, and, uh, and getting points. And, uh, you know, they found a way to win. Well, I think when you look at Middle Tennessee in general, they have, they've had winning seasons the last couple of years. Uh, they have quite a few seniors and veterans on defense. I think their young quarterback is playing well. Uh, they spread the ball out. They're in a spread system. You know, when you look at the Minnesota game, they played a big tit opponent as well. And even though they lost, uh, you know, the game was close. Uh, uh, you know, they lost by 11. I know they were down early, uh, but they had a punt blocked, and Minnesota ran the ball very well. But uh, they had many, much more yards than uh, Minnesota did on offense. They had more first downs, uh, and uh, you know they played very well their first game. And uh, you, know, you know, I think it's going to be a tough game. Coach Stockdale does a great job. Uh, their players are going to be hungry. It's a you know it's an important game for both of us, and uh, it'll definitely be a fourth quarter ball game. Well, I think that our guys played hard the first two games, and we obviously played very well the first game. The second game, um, you know, we played hard. Uh, and, and unfortunately, the second half, they, they, they beat us without question. They came out and beat us the second half. Uh, I, I think the conference is, is going to be very tough. You know, you look at all the teams throughout the, our conference the first two weeks, 
and a lot of teams have played well. You look at UTSA, who beat Houston, a very good opponent. Uh, then they barely lost Arizona. You look at North Texas, who, who put it to SMU uh, last week. You look at uh, UTEP, who almost uh, beat Texas Tech. Had him uh, up on him in the fourth quarter, won their first game as well. Uh, Rice is a team that came back. Uh, um, you know, Middle Tennessee won big the first week, played Minnesota fairly well. Uh, you know, a lot of good teams in the conference, a lot of parity, a lot of teams that are very close. Marshall obviously probably is the front runner. They're 2-0. Uh, but I think any given week uh, in this conference, uh, any team can win. So it's important uh, to play well. It's important to uh, continue to improve. It's important to to find ways to battle and win in the fourth quarter. And uh, you know, you've definitely got to learn from your mistakes along the way because if you repeat them, you're probably not going to be able to win the game. And uh, hopefully we'll do that. But uh, it's going to be a challenge. And definitely uh, at Middle Tennessee, the first game is a, is a, is a great challenge for us. Well, I think they're an experienced team that's won a lot of ball games in the past. And, uh, you know, they came into Conference USA last year. They went 6-2. and two. They went to a bowl game, won eight games. Uh, like I said, their defense uh, is very sound. They try not to give up the big play. They're a veteran group on defense. On offense, they spread the field. Uh, they have a young quarterback who's played well the first few weeks. Uh, and, uh, you know, it, it presents challenges for us. And, uh, you know, they know what they're doing. They have a staff, too, that's been there for a while. They are, they're a veteran group. And, um, you know, I just think it's going to be a very tough ball game for us. But, but uh, I know our guys will be hungry. I know our guys will be ready. We've definitely uh, wiped the taste of the, the last game from our mouth yesterday. And uh, it was a bitter taste, but we wiped it away. We, we've learned from it. It's time to move on and get ready for the next one. Thank you.